inhale two three four five exhale two three and as we exhale slowly release down four shoulders so we're gonna reach up first and slowly stretch to the side stress can lead to muscle tension which then can lead to back pain. Studies and research have shown that the stress-related hormones can affect the body tissues which can lead to pain and inflammation. Now do see a doctor if you have acute pain. Now if you're comfortable in spinal flexion and you don't feel pain in this position, then this is the class for you. Hi, I'm Carol. I'll be helping you today. I've been teaching Pilates mat work for over 20 years and I have background in classical yoga. So if you're ready, let's begin right now. Now we're going to lie down comfortably with the knees bent to take a couple of deep breaths to bring our awareness back to our body and to our breath. So you want to lie in a neutral position. So your knees bent, your, feet, your knees and feet hip distance apart. So your palms facing up, fingers half closed. So you want to adjust your head slightly, no tension. Relax your spine, relax your hip flexor, neck and shoulders. Soften your face. Let's, just, let's take a few cycles of breath. So as we inhale, abdomen up. And as we exhale, abdomen sinking. Inhale, abdomen up. And exhale, abdomen sinking, releasing all tension. Inhale, abdomen up. And exhale, abdomen sinking. So you want to visualize a ring around the mid trunk. So as we inhale, you feel this ring expanding away from our spine. And as we exhale, we feel the ring coming closer to our spine. So inhale, expanding the ring. And exhale, the ring comes closer to the spine, gently activating our deep core muscles with no tension in the neck, no tension in the lower back. So continue to breathe comfortably. Now I just want to guide you in the Pilates. We inhale through our nose and exhale from pursed lips. So like you are blowing a balloon. So inhale, exhale. Inhale deeply and exhale. Now slowly straighten your knees. Flex your feet and reach your arms up and over your head. Stretch through your heels, your fingertips. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, release your hands. Let's start with the first exercise. So palms beside your hips. Bend your knees, your knees and feet hip distance apart. Make sure it's not in a turn up position. Alright, and from here, inhale as we exhale, gently round your lower back. Allow the lower back to kiss the lower mat and peel the spine off the mat all the way up to our shoulder blades. Knees to shoulders, one straight line. Okay, ribcage placement in neutral. Take a deep breath. As we exhale, slowly release down. One vertebra at a time. Stretching the back, articulating the spine, releasing the lower back, relax the buttock and relax our hip flexor. One more time, inhale. And as we exhale, gently rounding the lower back and peel the spine off the mat. All the way up to our shoulder blades. Feel the straight line, knees to shoulders, take a deep breath. And as we exhale, releasing down, relax. Just visualize the spine like a string of pearl. Release one pearl at a time. Relaxing your buttock and don't forget to relax your hip flexor. Return to neutral pelvic placement. Let's practice the third time and the last time. Inhale. And as we exhale, gently rounding the lower back and peel the spine off the mat and keep the knees hip distance apart and slowly to the straight line knees away from the shoulders take a deep breath here inhale and as we exhale slowly release down four three two releasing the lower back one relax the buttock and the hip flexor and relax Bring the knees towards the chest gently. Gently hug your legs. 
gently roll the head sideways back to center let's rock the pelvis clockwise anti-clockwise massaging the back okay from here we're going to slowly roll to the side and we're going into the tabletop position now from here we're going to go on our tabletop position so palms shoulder width apart knees hip distance apart so you want to be uh, sure that your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over the knees so if you have wrist pain you have an option to go into the fist position all right so you're going to press your thumb down to find that balance and we're going to glide the shoulder blades towards our low back do not dip the belly down so gently draw the belly towards the spine but do not round the lower or upper back so we'll come back to this position here most importantly do not drop the head down so you gaze down but you're lengthening the spine this position so imagine there's a bowl of soup on your back you're going to balance that bowl there okay without spilling the soup so without shifting the body sideways or any position we're going to slowly extend our right knee so make sure the right hip is not sinking down stabilizing your pelvis your trunk float the leg up stay here breathing okay so you're going to keep the belly drawn to the spine to strengthen the core only if you're comfortable no pain you draw a small circle inhale exhale reverse inhale exhale and slowly toes down knees down so you want to avoid arching the back okay so keep the spine in neutral position and do not shift the hips to the side stay center gently extend the knees and it's fine to keep the toes down stay here okay if you're comfortable okay you're gonna float the leg up to hip level so avoid this this is spinal extension you want to come back to neutral position stay here or small circle inhale exhale reverse inhale exhale pause toes down knees down and from here we're going to tuck our toes press your palms down engage your core muscles you're going to float your knees up and let's do a back stretch here so hips up don't worry if the hamstring is tight the heels may not touch the mat and that's fine knees can bend slightly too so keep the head between your arms take a deep breath as we exhale slowly return And from here, knees together, feet together. If it's not comfortable, you can also separate your knees, okay, like this. So from here, we're going to round our back and slowly shift back. So you can place your forehead down if comfortable. So if not, separate the knees and hands beside your feet. Elbows relax, so you want to feel the stretch here in your lower back. So modified version will be this, knees apart. And hands can be forward, relaxing the neck, the shoulders, deep breaths into the lower back. And as we exhale, continue to release all tension. Inhale, exhale, slowly crawl up. And come up. Now, slowly lie down on the mat. I'm going to prepare for the next exercise, which is the Pilates 100. We will go to the modified version. All right. So if you don't feel comfortable having the head up, you can keep the head down. If your head is down, your palms will be beside your hips. Okay. If you're comfortable to lift your head up, okay, flexing your neck, you're going to follow me right now. So your thumb back of your ear lobe and your fingers back of your eyes. You need to float your elbows up, glide your shoulder blades down. So let's start by having one knee up. Okay, then when you're ready, slowly draw the other foot up. 
So check that the lower back is kissing the mat and knees and feet together. Lower back kissing the mat. Knees not too close to the chest. And from here, we're going to nod the hips. So gaze at your knees as you flex your neck, you flex your abs. Gaze at your inner thigh. So if your head is hanging here, it's better to keep the head down. And from here, gentle. Okay, we're going to practice the Pilates 100. First uh, five cycles. So we go inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Twenty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Thirty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Forty. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Fifty. Change. Okay, just make sure you're not bopping ahead, okay? You're going to gaze down, you're going to glide your shoulder blades down, continue to stabilize your shoulder blades. And we practice the last five cycles. And we go, inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Twenty, inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Thirty, inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Forty, inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Fifty. Support the neck and head if the head is up. As we exhale, release the neck and head down. Separate the knees, palms down. Okay, beside your hips, gently lower one foot down for safety reason. Do not drop both feet down, lower the other foot down. Slowly straighten the knees and arms over the head. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, let's do a gentle stretch here. So the arms go into the big V. We bend our knees slightly. Slowly roll the hips to the right side. Knees gently lower down and gaze to the left side without forcing. You can feel a nice release in the back, in the hips. Center, inhale. As we exhale, opposite side, relax your legs and then gentle to the right side and breathe into the side of the body, releasing tension in the right lower back, right hips, IT band. Okay, back to center. Okay, next we're going to practice okay, to strengthen the obliques, but we're going to do it in a gentle way. So, hands behind the head like this, thumbs back your lobe, fingers back the eyes, elbows slightly off the mat, glide the shoulder blades down, slowly draw your right knee up, okay, and then from here, we're going to nod the head, flex the neck, flex the abs, so you're targeting the six pack muscles right now, but from here, we're going to twist towards the right side, breathing, so we're not going to rock the hips, and just feel the oblique muscles breathing so do not gaze up so you're going to gaze forward but neither do you want to jam your chin towards your throat like this all right so don't pull the head forward okay the hand is just a support okay not to pull the head forward and center inhale exhale release the neck and head down lower the right foot down and draw the left knee up without tucking the tailbone up your quads relax your buttocks relax so from here one more time nod the head flex the neck and flex your six pack muscles to create that flexion gently twist towards the left side breathing so you will feel some trembling and that's normal. What you do not want to feel is any strain in your back, neck or shoulders. So you're going to always reduce the duration okay, of you holding here. Not a problem. Just come down safely. Breathing. Back to center. Inhale. As we exhale, release the neck and head down. Lower your foot down. And gently stretch out. Take a deep breath. And exhale, release the hands, bring the knees towards the chest. Roll the head sideways, releasing any tension. And back to center, rock the pelvis clockwise. 
anti-clockwise and back to center slowly roll to the side and come up let's continue with the mermaid okay we're going to bend our knees like this first and from here let's bend the right knee now if this is comfortable for you you're going to bend your left leg like this all right if there's discomfort in the knees you are just going to go into the diamond like this okay and that's fine or even crossing your legs probably diamond will be more comfortable all right you can also elevate uh, your hips okay, you can sit on a yoga block if you have one or a very firm cushion so from here I'm going to go to this position here alright so we're going to start by lifting our right hand up make sure you're not squeezing your shoulders so you want to create more space okay, on the right side of the body and the left fingers here Okay, make sure you're not squeezing the shoulders so we're going to reach up first and slowly stretch to the side breathing so you're kind of making like a, a rainbow arc here okay so do not tense the elbows okay soften the elbows and keep the right sit bone down lifting the lower rib cage here and opening up the right side of the body and breathe into your hips breathing so many times we forget to breathe breathing and not squeezing the shoulders And just dive deeper into the stretch and your breathing and slowly come back up okay and from here we're just going to lift the left hand and slowly slice across just going to turn and face this side take a deep breath and slowly lower the hands down okay and if comfortable just round gently round your back a little bit of stretch here okay slowly come up and back to center okay let's practice the other side so let's come back to this position first we're going to bend our left leg this way and then our right this way once again if this is not comfortable go to the diamond legs okay so you're going to sit as tall as you can so your fingers here and let's extend our left arm up shoulders relax so reaching up first okay so you want to lengthen the spine reaching up and slowly stretching to the right side so make sure you're not squeezing the lower shoulder breathing okay so keeping your left sit bone heavy we feel the release here soften the elbows make sure your head is not dropping forward so you're gazing forward or eyes closed and crown reaching away okay and your neck is lengthening breathing breathing and inhale up and slowly we're going to just lift our right hand up slice across the room like this and we're just going to look to the side of the room this is good enough all right if comfortable lower the hands down okay and i'm just going to go into a gentle c curve breathing and slowly come back to center okay and slowly come back so let's all come to this position okay according to the diamond legs okay so the feet not too close hands on our knees shoulders relax and try to sit as tall as you can okay lengthening the spine chin parallel to the floor make sure you're not arching the back and from here as we exhale we're going to round the back glide the hands forward release the neck and head and from here relax the neck and breathe into the mid and lower back and exhale let's nourish our back with our in breath and out breath on exhalation we release all tension breathing 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 inhale 
and exhale slowly crawl up okay and sit taller if comfortable reach your hands up to the side reaching open up the chest okay does feel comfortable no neck pain flex and reach up to the big V feel taller 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 not squeezing the shoulders and relax remember regular proper practice is the key to alleviating your back pain so you want to avoid straining the back with the wrong approach to the practice so you want to feel there's space in the body and you should feel strong from inside out okay so we're not targeting just the superficial muscles but really the deep core muscles which is the transversus abdominis to support our spine now, if you'd like me to assess your movement okay, or you just want to find out more about this program okay, that can guide you properly, you can explore the Mindful Pilates mini online course. You want to have quality me time so they can really nourish yourself properly. Okay? Maintain good spinal health all right? so and with a healthy spine, our breathing will improve and that will help us in our mental wellness. So, so if you have more time, I'll recommend you to watch this video and I'll see you in the next practice. Have a great day.